Dean Zielinski and Rita Haney um, showed up at the Solar booth to say hello to Ola. And so I got to meet the Dean Zielinski and take a picture with him. He looked just as spazzed out as Rudy, by the way. But uh, again, completely understandable. But Rita was super energetic and she was super happy and pleasant to talk to. And I asked her a question about Dime because, you know, I love Dimebag. And I asked her how he really felt being around the fans because I know there's all those videos online about him interacting with the fans and he's always so pleasant and chill. But I asked her, was there ever a time where he like asked you or like was talking to you? And he just felt kind of burned out or overwhelmed at all. And she said no, because he himself was always a fan. And so engaging with the fans was the fulfillment of the dream that he had always had as a kid. Like being a rock star and stuff. But engaging with the fans was the real gratification for him. And it was less so for Vinny, because Vinny was more of the introvert, she said. He would much rather just hang out at his strip clubs, whereas Dime would actively try to get him to join him in, on his trips to visit the fans and stuff, right? And that was really cool to hear, um, because she said he had always behaved like that. Even up until his death, he, like, there were times at conventions or album or, like, like vinyl signings or something where... He would completely overstay the time he was booked for because he just wanted to engage with every single fan he possibly could and give them as much time as he possibly could. And I felt like that was that was a really cool story. And I was super, super blessed, I think, to finally meet her. She asked me if I was going to the Pantera shows in the United States because she said she was going to the one in San Diego. And I was surprised, too, because... Um, People that I was taught that I have been talking to at the time kept referring to the Pantera shows by different things because some of them didn't think that it was legitimate, you know, but she referred to the Pantera shows in a way that I had never heard before. She described it as Pantera celebration shows, not tribute, not just straight up Pantera, but Tam Pantera celebration. And I, I was quite astonished by that because that's by far the most the most positive description of this tour I've ever heard and so I was like I don't know I'll, I'll see if I can go to the show I'm still trying to see if I can go to the show I have to figure out if I can get out of the house <laughs> but uh, if I do go uh, you'll know for sure 